Okay guys, this is Pappy. We're back with Pappy's World. Um, we got just some simple stuff to do around the house today. Got an oil change to do on a 2012 Scion TC. Nothing too crazy. Just figured I'd get a little bit of footage of it and uh, give y'all something to look at maybe. Um, hang tight with me for just a second here. It's a little bit cold and rainy outside so I kind of got the garage picked up and swept out so I can nose the car in here so it'd be a little bit less wind to deal with and hopefully not get wet. It's not really raining anymore but it is saying that there's a chance of rain. So hang tight with me for a second here. I'm gonna get some vehicles shuffled around and we'll be right back, check in with you. Okay, everybody. Uh, like I said, this is 2012 Scion TC. It's got the 2.4 inline four cylinder motor on it. Uh, it's that uh, gray color, which actually we really like. This is my girlfriend's car. And give me see if I can get you a good deal of the color here. The lighting kind of sucks. So sorry for that, guys. But this is that like gunship gray. I don't know what Toyota calls it, but this is the gunship gray that like Dodge has that kind of stuff. But really like the color. Um, like I said today, we just got a little change to do on this one. Nothing too crazy. This will be another car that will probably be seen on the channel somewhat. We, um, Like I said, this is my girlfriend's daily driver. Probably plan on doing like a lowering kit or something on it. Nothing too crazy. It's not going to be no race car. It's just something for good fuel economy. So uh, let me get you all set up. And I'm just going to get to it and get this thing jacked up on some jack stands. And we'll get to uh, just change the new oil out on this one. So I'll check in with you here in a second. Alright guys, as you saw, we got the car pulled in, got it jacked up, put it on some jack stands under there because it sits a little too low to the ground to be able to get under it without that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm sure you probably could, but it just would not be comfortable at all. But um, what you just saw there is, like I said, we got that done and then we uh, went ahead and pulled the oil filter and the uh, oil drain plug out of the oil pan. We're going to let that start draining. First thing I usually like to do is take off the oil fill cap right here. That way, you know, creates a little suction oil, comes out faster. I don't know. It's just something I've always done. Um, other than that, give you a quick overview. This is what we run in this car. We run Mobile One Zero W20. That's what the car calls for Zero W20. Mobile One always just been a believer in the brand. Um, we always run either Mobile One oil filter or we run a Toyota brand oil filter on the car. So that's what we got here. Um, this, I just wanted to show you guys, these are the tools that you are going to need to do this job. Um, this is your oil filter wrench. You can pick it up at any uh, hardware store like a Riley, something along those lines. Let me grab, here's the part number for it. It'll be a W54076. Like I said, 
you can get that at any hardware parts store probably not hardware parts store but like automotive uh, type store parts replacement and stuff like that um, the reason why you need that is for this this is your oil filter housing sits on the bottom of the motor down there uh, not hard to get to by any means it holds a filter element instead of an actual oil filter uh, has two o-rings on it um, sometimes you have to have this because it goes around that cap just like that to unscrew this housing um, you'll need a half inch ratchet or you'll need a three-eighths to half inch adapter to be able to get that done to pull the oil drain plug i have a 14 millimeter socket I don't know if y'all can see that, but you just have to trust me on that one. Uh, it's a 14 millimeter socket. I just have a 3H drive, so I have my 3H drive ratchet. I have Pittsburgh ratchets, the flex head, just kind of like the snap on. I've actually been really happy with the 3 8 so I went ahead and bought the half inch, and we're going to see how we like that half inch ratchet. Let's think about trying out the uh, Icon tool, tool brand. Um, I have Blue Point sockets and uh, snap on pliers, stuff like that. Always been a snap on fan just snap-on is kind of expensive for you know at home hobbyist in the garage so i was thinking about trying out that icon brand <laughs> see how i like that they're supposed to be making that brand to compete with snap-on i've seen a couple reviews on youtube people seem to be really happy with it for home brand for home brand tools to be in your garage just doing this kind of stuff but like i said you need that to unscrew this black piece here but you need your 3 8 ratchet and an extension helps so this one's stuck on so i'm gonna have to get that pulled off of there so that I can do the o-ring under this one because my girlfriend wants it done this time but um that is a 3h drive you pull that out let me go ahead and open this up real quick here I'm gonna set you guys right there so you pull that out and then this piece right here that snaps into the hole that that's in so that instead of just dropping all this with oil in it this will actually drain the oil out of this housing before you pull the housing off now, if you can't get it off, you can get up in there with a pair of pliers, or you can do like I did. Just twist that thing off and just make a mess. Try to keep it to a minimum if you can. But yeah, like I said, we're going to go ahead and try to get that off so that we can replace that O-ring. This oil filter kit, of course, comes with the oil drain. Comes with your filter element to go back in. I'll put that back in the box. And then it comes with two O-rings. The big O-ring here, and then the little O-ring that goes under here. So, we'll go ahead and try to get that pulled off. And then I will check back in with you. All right, guys, we got this back piece loosened up. I actually ended up, instead of using a pair of pliers and trying to get around this, this cap that you're supposed to use to take the oil filter housing off worked perfect since it's half inch. So I just used a little extension, put it on there. This cap has the hex on the back of it for like a wrench or something. So I just used a crescent wrench, put it on there, got it broke loose. So now, Pull that off, unscrew this. See how it comes apart. There's a little bit of oil in there. Oof. You get a rag, get a dirty rag, and we'll get that wiped up, get that cleaned up before we put it back together. So there's the cap. Go ahead and get that oil. There's a little bit of oil left over in there don't know why that other little tool is supposed to release the oil to this portion we'll get that cleaned up once we get the cap back on with a little bit of brake parts cleaner so now we're gonna pop this little o-ring out see if i can't get a hold of the dang thing be a little bit easier if i just grab a pick but you know how we do every now and then you just don't want to go get extra tools then we're going to pop open our little kit that came with our oil filter. This comes with all the oil filters that you're going to buy. We're going to get this O-ring. We'll clean out the groove. Make sure that groove is nice and sanitary. Then I'm going to pop this open. We'll go ahead and make our oil hole. There we go. Your finger in there. Get a little bit of oil on our finger. Just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot of it. And then we're going to coat this O-ring with a little bit of oil. Just give it a nice little slickness so that way it doesn't get bound up whenever you're tightening everything back down. Get our hands a little cleaned up. 
we're gonna take our little cap piece with that or no ring right there the other one was orange that's toyota brand uh this one's that mobile one brand so we got our other o-ring there in the groove we're just gonna tighten that back on there we'll just get a hand tight for now whenever we put it back on we'll snug it down whenever it has more has a little bit more sturdy surface to be against so there's that we'll get that cleaned up use a little brake parts cleaner on it Wipe the whole thing down again. And then we will do the same thing with this O-ring. Just gonna get our fingers on there good, roll that one off. Set it over here to the side. We'll go ahead and clean up the groove a little bit. And we'll pull out our new O-ring. Same thing with a little bit of we're going to get this thing on here actually first. We'll get it put back into its groove there. And then we'll put a little bit of oil around that outside edge of this one. So the same thing, whenever you're tightening up that housing, it isn't binding up or gripping against anything up in there. So there's that. And we'll just wipe out the inside a little bit. Doesn't need anything crazy. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I just feel like doing it, I guess. Throw that rag down. This will just go into recycle. All right, boys and girls. Pull that piece out. Take your oil filter element. A little bit of a snug fit and whoop, that's ready to go back on. We'll get that put back on, get the drain plug put back in. Now that everything's nice and drained under there, probably have to wipe off the piece that this goes into, but nothing too crazy. And uh, we'll get it all put back together, get it filled up with oil, then we'll be done with this thing. said 2012 Sun TC it's that gray color good looking car um, we have one last thing to do we unlock it here we have to reset the maintenance light these newer vehicles have maintenance lights on them so we just have to reset that so that way it won't be blinking and bugging and everything else so let me see if I can get y'all set up real quick and I'll show you how to do that okay that'll probably work right there I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door it's really windy today Man, y'all can't see anything. <laughs> That's not really working, is it? Nope. Get y'all a little closer. There we go. Now y'all can see. Okay, so over here on the right, there is your mileage indicator right here. You're going to hold that down and turn the key on with that held down. Just turn it on, don't start the car. Now where your mileage is, should turn into some bars that will blink across until they're gone. Do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, 
that's not working. Okay, pull out the owner's manual real quick, and uh, it turns on. It turns out that that is the right sequence, but and I believe I would believe most Toyotas would be the same, and I'll show you all here in a second once we get it going again. Hold that down. Turn your key to on without uh, starting the vehicle, and that bar starts blinking. Hold it down until it goes all the way away. There you go. Now, the issue that we had was right here in the middle. We had that set on odometer. Uh, the maintenance manual, it shows that it wants it to be on trip A. So you have the key on, turn it to trip A, then turn the key off, then hold it down, turn the key on until that bar goes away like I showed you. Then your maintenance light won't be staying on and blinking at you. So... There's that. All right, guys, we got it all done. We got the car sorted out, got our little maintenance done. Uh, went ahead, got that maintenance light shut off, so that way that'll be good for another 5,000 miles. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and clean up. I'm not gonna get any footage of that. I don't know if y'all care to watch me just wipe the floor down a little bit and pour some oil and do some jugs so that, that way it's not sitting in my oil drain pan. So that's just all we have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check in with us next time. I don't know when the next time we're posting is. I'm just kind of getting footage as I'm going right now. I got to go back to work on Monday. So I'll be, I'll work a full-time job through the week. So I'll get footage every chance that I can. Try to get at least a video a week out to you guys. So thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and uh, like it if you gained anything knowledgeable from this or just enjoyed watching. So thanks guys. We'll see you later.